Never let anyone tell you that you're useless because you're not. You're not. You're amazing. Each one of us is unique. Allah loves you. He knows you personally. He knows your challenges. He knows your struggles. He knows your tears. He knows what is going on. He knows the positives, the negatives. He knows more than you know about yourself. And he did not make any one of us useless. And therefore, never tell others that they're useless, especially the children. Empower them with the most beautiful words because that builds them. When they're one year, two years old, three years, at that age, when you keep reminding them of how beautiful they are, how amazing they are, how intelligent they are. When you hug them, you kiss them, you embrace them. That is taught by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. When he embraced his grandson, Al Aqra ibn Habis, says, I have 10, I've never kissed even one of them. How could you? Meaning at that time, they thought being a man was you couldn't kiss your children. The Prophet, peace be upon him, looked at him and told him, Malla yarham, la yurham. Statement done. Whoever doesn't show mercy will not be shown mercy. Whoa. Look at that. Which means kiss your children, embrace them, give them good words. When they do something wrong, it's normal, it's natural. It's fine. They're kids, they may yell, they may scream, no problem. You're an adult, don't behave like a child, behave like an adult. They're children, let them behave like children. They may break things, they may say things. They may speak out of turn, they may whatever. They may make huge blunders and mistakes. They may falter in the path or on the path. It's okay, it's fine. We will guide them in a beautiful way. I'm not saying leave it and don't do anything about it, but we will do it in such a beautiful way that we empower them. And I end with an, an example. When the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was faced with a man who entered the Masjid, Masjid al-Nabawi, the mosque of the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him and all his companions. And he was a Bedouin man, not knowing any better, decided to urinate in the corner of the Masjid because he felt like he needed to relieve himself. And he didn't know any better about what he should do and where he should do it because at that particular time, there were, there were no toilets the way we have today. So as he's urinating, the companions became so angry and upset, they began to shout him, yell at him, tell him to stop, scream at him and so on. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, looked at them and told them, La tazmuruhu. Don't scold him in that manner. Leave him. Let him finish his business, whatever he's doing. Sit and think for a moment. If that were to happen today, forget about a mosque here in this hall. <laughs> what would happen? What would happen? I can't even imagine because I don't think it would happen. But kids might do it. It's fine. When this happened, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, told his companions, go and get some water. So they got a bucket and they went to look for the water. It took them a little bit of time. And as they were away, he looked at this man and he told him in such, a, in such an empowering way, he says, this is a masjid, it's the house of Allah. It is for the Quran, it is for prayer, it is for dhikr, remembrance of Allah, it is for worship, it's not for urinating. And this man immediately thought about the contrast between those who were about to choke him moments before, and this man who is the Prophet himself, so lovingly telling me, hey, don't do this man, it's not supposed to be. He says, Oh Allah, this is the statement in Arabic, right? This, Ara this Bedouin man is saying, Allahumma arhamni warham Muhammadan wa la tarham ma'ana ahadan. Oh Allah, have mercy on me. Have mercy on Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa But don't have mercy on anyone else. Now that's a new problem because you need guidance. Hang on, the mercy of Allah encompasses everyone. Look at how the messenger, peace be upon him, waited for them to go away. He didn't yell at this guy while everyone was still there. He waited for them to become busy looking for the water. Subhanallah. 
Now there is a new problem. What is it? I need to teach this man about the mercy of Allah. So the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, looks at him and says, you are trying to make something narrow that is very broad and all encompassing. Statement complete. You cannot do that. The mercy of Allah encompasses everything. Allah says, my mercy encompasses absolutely everything so my brothers my sisters as i commenced i want to tell you the mercy of allah encompasses you and all your problems and your issues so keep going and understand you are well within the mercy of allah you need to look for it you need to search for it you need to feel it you need to understand it and you need to continue going don't let anything distract you from your path and inshallah we're all heading in a beautiful direction move at your pace for as long as you are moving move at your pace not at the pace of somebody else for as long as you're moving in the right direction, inshallah.